Hey group, today I'm going to uh, show how to make a Horizon file with your phone. And uh, I'm an Android guy, so this will be with Android. And there are iOS apps, I believe. And we will uh, start the process. The first thing I want to do is uh, start up the app. And the app is called Dioptra. And I'm screen uh, casting. Uh, so not only will you see me do this, but you'll also see my screen. And I am standing on my C14 marks. So there's the north pointing north and the two rear legs. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that I have uh, the uh, azimuth correction entered, which I do. For me, it's minus 11. And with that entered, now when I start playing, my north is up here. When I start doing stuff, then I can... Uh, know that my uh, coordinates will be correct. So you want to hold your phone so that you don't have too much tilt. And I'm going to pick high spots. So I know that uh, my Polaris is up in here. So I'm going to start at the top of this peak right here. And I'm going to take a picture. And I'm going to go all the way over to here and take another picture. And I'm going to go down to here and take another picture. Then I'm going to go over to there, take a picture, then up to here. up to here I'm going to go over I'm not really trying to follow all of the uh, obstructions that I have Now I'm kind of looking into the sun here, so... And I'm going to go all the way over to here because it's kind of a straight shot. And I'm going to go up to here. Just make it a straight shot and then over to here, like so. And that is my horizon file. So you want to start your horizon file to the right of uh, north or wherever your Polaris is, and then go all the way around and then stop so that uh, your next. Uh, or your last uh, image is uh, going to be, it will connect your first image. So what we'll do is we'll take this stuff down to, uh, to the basement and we'll show you how we'll work with this data. Hello group, Jeff here. So I'm now at my uh, computer and uh, I have my uh, phone on the computer. And what we'll do is uh, look at those files that we just created.
created for our horizon data. So I'm going to go to my files or my folders, whatever they call it, my files. And you can see that in the images folder, there's a diaptera uh, folder and um, it puts the last one first and the first one last. So if we check this, what we want to look for is the four degrees and the 62.2. I'm sorry, the 46.2. And then, uh, as you can see, it goes around uh, the way I shot them, all the way to the last one, which is this one. So we'll go back to the first one. And now we're going to open up a text, a notepad so that we can enter some text. And uh, a horizon file is just a text file. So we want two things. We want this and this. So I'm going to put in here four degrees with a space. And then I'm going to, you want to round up or down. Uh, and in this case, it's 46. And then it's going to be 42 and uh, 42. How about that? Forty-two space forty-two. Go back here. And then we want 68 and 29. Sixty-eight space twenty-nine. And then eighty-four. Eighty-four, and I'm going to use twenty-nine again because I want it to be just a straight line across. But you can see I, I dipped a little; wasn't quite straight, but that's okay. I'm going to go back. And now we want eighty-one, which is a little less than my 84. So we don't want to go back. So what I will do is make this 81 space uh, 48. And then I'm going to go back up to here and make this 80. And then we'll have a, uh, a little bit of a because you don't want it to go back on itself, it creates, it screws up the, the horizon polygon. I'm sorry, I'm a little stuffy today. <laughs> Excuse me. Then we want 115. And you can see that I'm a little low, so I might make this 57, which should get me back. Okay, this is 154 and 51. Oops, 
Minute to space, 51, enter. And this is 163, space 26. Enter. And we want 182, 182, space 27. Enter. And 190. And 24. And this is going to be 195 space 12. Enter. And this will be 205 space. And we'll do the same thing uh, 12 because I want it to be a straight line. And it's 213, 23. 225, and it looks like 26 will be the magic number. I forgot the space. And now we're going to be 227 and 17. I oh, forgot the space again. Jeff, enter. And it's 237. 20. Two ninety one and twenty. Wow, I actually got it straight. How about that? Well, we have a couple more. And it's two thirty or three twenty. Dyslexia kicking in. And 42. And I'll have one more after this. I want to get rid of that. And it'll be 349 space 40. So that is my horizon file. And this file will work in either Nina or Stellarium. The only difference will be the names. So in Stellarium, I have a, uh, a dot landscape dot INI file. And in that file, which I will show you, I'll close this. We'll open up this. Here's the landscape at it. And you can see that in the uh, programs files, Stellarium, landscapes, my horizon folder is a landscape landscape.ini file. And then uh, the my horizon 
dot text is the file that you see here that the program is looking for. So I'm just going to copy this name because sometimes for some unknown reasons we want to save this to that folder. So it's program files, Delarium, landscapes, my horizon. And I'm going to just paste or I'm sorry, copy that and save it. Now if I open Stellarium, Oops, I had one open already. If I go to Landscapes and click on My Horizon File, you can see that, that here's the Horizon File that we just made. And as you can tell, I have quite a few obstructions. <laughs> And the one thing that I appear to be off just a little bit, but that's an adjustable item, is uh, let me go back to driveway. Is I'm covering Polaris. So what I want to do is open that init file and maybe add five degrees and see what happens. So we'll save this. And then we'll go to my horizon file. And it does not appear to have moved. So let me make it a bigger number. Oh, I did the save it. So let me close the larium And make it 10 degrees. Oops, we'll save it, open Stellarium, and try that file again. Now, if I did this right, it should show quite a big move. And this is sometimes what happens when you Not too many open. Let's see what happens now. Okay, now let's open Stellarium. Landscapes, click on this, and now it's not working. Why? This is that finicky thing that Stellarium does every now and then, and it's got to do let's see if it's actually this. So you can see if you want to change your ground color. Of the polygon, that's this, and if there's a, a hor uh, horizontal line color, that's this. This is, of course, the text file that we're referencing. We'll save this.
There it is. So it didn't like me trying to rotate the uh, the polygon, but that's an easy fix for me. So it looks like I'm a little high. But it's there. And you can see that my trees have grown <laughs> quite a bit. So this peak is up here now. And Polaris is in a little bit of a hole. So I would tweak this horizon file to suit my settings. I might have to go in and actually physically change uh, uh, the text file to rotate everything a little bit. I would uh, just add to these numbers however many degrees that I want to change them and then uh, save the file and go back in. But you would have to change them all by the same amount because it appears that the horizon, or not the horizon, but the rotation, the polygon angle rotate is not working, which uh, stuff like this happens and it's nothing to get upset over it's uh there are other ways to get the rotation correct and uh that's just one way another way would be to change your uh in the phone app where's the phone app right here if we close this And we go into Diaptera. We can change the manual offset. So uh, depending on how far I think I'm off, I would probably try to make this uh, go in five degree in increments and make this minus uh, six instead of 11 and see how it goes. Or maybe I, I have to go the other way and it would be minus uh, 16. And then that would help me line up um, the uh, polygon a little better. It's just a trial and error thing. And now what we'll do is uh, we'll take the Horizon. I'm just going to copy this horizon file from here and I'm going to open up Nina on another machine. Oops. That's running. And on that machine, I have a D drive where I keep all my NETA data, and you can see I have a horizon file, and I'm going to call this C14 because this is where these are the C14 uh, locations, and it's HZN for horizon, and uh, I will go to options and right here, general, options general at the bottom, custom horizon. I'll load this C14 file. And you can see right now I do not have a horizon file showing. Uh, so if I click on search, you can now see that there is a, a horizon file for my obstructions showing up in Nina. So let's go to the framer and I'll just pick M31 somewhere. There it is. Well, that didn't work. There we go. 
there's the bubble. So you can see that uh, the horizon file also shows in the framer. And if I want to send this to a simple sequence, you can see that the horizon file is showing in the simple sequence. And the nice thing about Nina is that Nina will look at this horizon file and let's just say you've got you're going to try to image six targets they all have a horizon file associated with those targets and nina in the sequencer will look at that horizon file first and then determine if it's within optimal field of view or it's in an optimal location and based on how many images you want to get it will say okay i can do that and then start that portion of the sequence and then when that finishes it will look at the remainder and determine by the horizon file if it can do any of the, the other ones so you could have uh out of the the five remaining you could have four that are behind obstructions and uh that won't work nina will know and won't attempt to image something that's behind an obstruction and this is one of the reasons why an ap mode of nina is the way to go for me so i hope that this has been enough data for you to uh, actually go out and figure out what um, would work for you whether it's a, a planetary map now, I only know Stellarium and uh, Nina, it, so I really can't answer any questions on anything else other than those two. And uh, if you have any questions on those, feel free to ask. But uh, just remember that uh, one of the things in Stellarium is uh, it's very picky about how these files are formatted. So what I'll do is I'll put my uh my horizon file uh i'll show i'll send you a link to where you can get one that has the proper uh format for the dot ini file and then you would just replace the my horizon dot text with yours and uh you should be pretty good so if you have uh any questions you know where to to look me up and uh, we'll see you on the group. Thanks.